What's up? Uh, I hope everyone is alive um, and happy and making choices that their future self will feel good about. Because what else, what more can we do, you know? Other than exist and look out for our future selves. I'm trying to, you know, I make my bed every morning and pay off my bills, but you know, depression and anxiety are always looming. And on that note, we're going to be listening to Joji's new album, or is it an EP? Um, I have not listened to it yet. I've listened to the singles. It's called Smithereens. It's only 24 minutes. Um, Glimpse of Us is probably my favorite emo song I've heard in a long time. And Yukon feels like a fresh autumn breeze blowing through the trees. And so I love it and I can't wait to hear the rest of the album. And I feel like I've been avoiding listening to it out of the fear that I won't like it. So yeah, let's, let's see how it goes. Um, I haven't looked at like any reviews or anything, so it's all, I'm just gonna listen. I'm gonna let you know what I think with each song. That's, that's my life. It's nice to do this shit because the rest of my time I spend um, painting or making music or feeling like I'm not doing anything or accomplishing anything with my life. And so this is like a nice way to commit to that feeling like I'm not accomplishing anything and just react to the things that other people are accomplishing. Mmm, damn, I'm just in the best mood today. And I'm damn sure I never would have danced with the devil in 19. I almost had a panic attack because my Apple TV wasn't showing up. Let's do this. I'm just gonna quickly glance through the little info. Pick up the pieces after a heartbreak, reconcile with the past love, aftermath of failed reconciliation, trap electronic lo-fi. Okay, pointless. Track one, Glimpse of Us, I've heard it, but I'm gonna listen to it again because I love it. She turned the rain into a rainbow When I was living in the blue Do I still wish that it was you? Like, this is just the greatest song of all time. It's so good. It's got that perfect touch of, like, this could almost be a Christmas song that just adds so much to the emotions and depth of it somehow. But it's not a Christmas song. It's just so pretty. It's so pretty. Outside in my mind Cause sometimes I look in her eyes and that's where I find a glimpse of us. <sighs> Do this to me, Joji. Maybe you'll start Just everything about this instrumental, vocals, production, 
so clean, so good, so perfect. It's like the perfect pop ballad. I can't even fathom how amazing this song is. Okay, opening with the greatest track of all time. Like, best first track on any album that I've ever heard in my life. It's so good. All right, track two. Feeling like the end at a short one minute and 42 seconds. Let's go. So good. This is like itching the scratch in my brain that I always have that has been so hard to scratch. Um, from like Alina Beraz and Gala Matias's EP that they put out like 10 years ago. Maybe it was like eight years ago. But it's everything, it's just so good. Just his voice and the production are so well matched. Um, I'm a fan. <laughs> so good but why was it so short it felt like the intro to a song the writing was a little like simple too which is fine but not nearly as interesting and well written as the opener so all right track three die for you I gotta say, I mean, so far I like this song, but Joji is a late September Virgo, as am I, and I think that's why, partially why I just love his music so much. Maybe that's ridiculous to even say out loud, but I don't care. <laughs> good too. It's chill. I would sing it in my car, which is the most important factor of any song out there. song I'd say it was probably the weakest out of the first three but still better than so many songs out there all right before the day is over so far there's this clicking sound happening I think outside my apartment and it's kind of making me feel like an insane person all right low register in his voice. Let me in before the day is over. Something we can use to break our phone. In before the day I hope he like belts it a little bit in this song. That'd be nice. Just saying. Song. It 
fit the vibe of the album. I will still say the first two tracks are my favorite thus far. All right, track five on the A side, Dissolve. Last track on the A side of the record. But it is like, I, I, don't, I tried to see if there were vinyls of this record and there aren't. So it's like, why, why are you out here saying side A and side B if you're not even selling vinyls? Do cassettes have side A and B? Maybe they do. All right. If they do, then it's okay. All right, dissolve. Ooh, guitar, first guitar on the album. Maybe it's the tone of his voice, but it just sounds... His voice sounds so Christmassy to me. Am I insane? And it's not even a bad thing, I just think he needs to put out a Christmas album. And it would be fire and he would knock Mariah off her throne. Come on, Joji. I love his... He does that in a lot of his songs in the background, it's nice. Reference to the Beach Boys and or Lana Del Rey with God Knows I Tried. Gotta give it to him there. I like that track. That one's up there for me. That one was nice. Nice track. Enjoyed it. All right. B side. All caps on these track titles. A side was all regular lowercase and title, whatever. I don't have to talk. All caps. Explicit. He is feeling sad because this is after he tried to reconcile with his ex and it didn't work out. So he's pissed. He's in all caps. I don't know. I'm theorizing. All right, Night Rider. James Blake, You're So Precious. Maybe they had a love affair. I mean, that was nice. It hit some of the things that I really like about the track Yukon that's coming up. Like how the production just feels almost like breezy, kind of, in a nice way. All right. Blah, 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 demo. I gotta say, like, why, like, you're, this is an album you're putting out. Why say demo? Like, why, why are you releasing a demo? Just call it the track. Just let it be what it is. Like, are you gonna change the way it's produced and re-release it in the future? and it not be a demo? Okay. Whatever, doesn't matter. Nitpicking. Nitpicking! <clears throat> okay. I wanna be forever young. Forever 
forever. Do you really want to live? I know that's a classic rock song, but it was also in some like cheesy hip hop rap remake when I was like 11 years old. Oh, is it Elton John or something? I think he was in that one, Elton John. I can make you feel it closer, baby, one more time. I just know the subwoofer in my car would be rattling with this song in a good way. I like it. I guess I can understand the demo in the title because it feels a little like random, but that's fine. Like, just go listen to this song and think about sitting on a park bench at dusk when it's like 52 degrees Fahrenheit outside and you have your headphones on and you're listening to this track and it just feels like the perfect reflection of the breeze and the leaves blowing in the wind around you. Like, I just can't explain it. It's just perfect. I love this track so much. Like, that melody is just so nice. And my eyes get low in that all white truck, I can barely see shit. It's like a, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. I guess that's a response to the other song where he's like, I want to be forever young. Nah, bro, you can't be, sorry. It might be time to face it. It might be time to face it. You're not as cool as you used to be. Uh. I don't even know that song. I think the production also slightly reminds me of Nujabez. Nujabez production. And so I think I'm partially biased towards it for nostalgic reasons, but it's just so good. All right. One more track, 1 a.m. freestyle. Let's go. like his second potential on a reference and I am for sure here for it. You know, even if he's not a Lana fan, I think that she's just as enough of an icon that her music has permeated the unconscious human condition and so references to her music just come up everywhere in the world. That's right, I will not review any album without talking about Lana Del Rey. Deal with it. style but it has 
eight people on writing credits. I mean, that's fine, it doesn't matter. It's a nice song. Actually, I quite liked it. Um. Good album, solid album. Um, definitely, to me, feels more like an EP than an LP, partially because it's 24 minutes long, partially because it feels like a lot of ideas, like a lot of good ideas and some really good tracks. Um, but yeah, I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I mean, my favorite tracks are Glimpse of Us, Feeling Like the End, Yukon, and probably 1AM, Freestyle. There might be some other good ones in there that I just can't think of right now. Um, but I'm excited now that I have allowed myself to listen to this album to just play it in my car and just let it grow on me and start to know all the songs as well as I know Glimpse of Us in Yukon because those are definitely my favorites but they're also the only songs I've heard like 200 times each so that might have an effect on my opinion but anyways what did you guys think of the album um I kind of want Joji to, to just release like an all ballads album I think that would be so good like, give us a little more ballad energy. I feel like he really shines with the ballads. All right, well, happy Wednesday. Happy November. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. And think about something in your life that makes you feel good because if you're anything like me you focus way too much on all the things that make you feel bad and on that note goodbye <laughs>